Welcome to the next episode of 24 Hour Skyblock. In this episode, I'll finish the Villager Breeder and then I'll work on the Trading Hall. So let's start with the Villager Breeder. Alright, so last episode, I lured the Villagers to this bed and it looks like they're grown up already. So let's go and sleep. Alright, it's daytime now. Let's see if they are standing on the fence. Yes, it's working. So they're standing on the fence. So all I have to do now is just break the blocks down here. And all I have to do is give them some crops and then they'll start breeding. So let's farm for some crops. Okay, so I'm going to need some bone meal. Convert that into bone meal. And let's farm. Alright, I got 39 potato. Let's see if they will start breeding with this much potatoes. So all I have to do is throw the potatoes onto the beds. And they'll start picking it up. Yeah, and let's see if they will breed. Oh, they just gave the potatoes to each other. Come on, breed. Give me some hearts. <gasps> yes! Hearts. Okay, let's see if the baby villager falls. Yes, there you go. And that's the reason why I have water there, so they don't take damage. So now I have a baby villager. Um, oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to happen. I don't want this baby villager to be up here. So let me break this. Oh, I still need to push this guy. Hold on, let me, oh my gosh. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, if this baby villager goes in this hole, it might fall between the fence. There you go, it fell. Okay, oh, oh. and I have to break this. Okay, and let me also trap the villager in here. There you go. Okay, so let's break this stair. Cool. So let's start working on the villager breeder. What I need to do is I need to make a door here. So I was thinking of using an iron door. That way the villagers won't be able to open the door. So I'm going to use planks. Oh, actually, let me do the oak logs first. And then the planks will go here. And I'm going to need a stair block. Let's see. Okay, I got stairs. So a stair block like that. And then I'm going to put an iron door on the other side. But I need to do this quickly because I don't want the villager to go through. Oh, actually, before that, Let's make some buttons. That way I can open the door. So I'm going to need two stone buttons. And I don't want to use this charcoal. So let's just use some oak planks. All right, one stone and two stone. Awesome. Okay, so make them into stone buttons. And now I could just put it down. So let's do this quickly. I need to put it down. There you go. And then a button here. It opens and a button here. There you go. It works. Awesome. So I also wanted to decorate a little bit. I don't want it to be all planks. So I'm going to put some strip logs. So let's put a strip log here. Uh, let me put it on my second hand and let's place it down. There you go. And strip log there and this block too. Oh, whoops. Not you. Okay. I could just do that. Let me make, oh, I can make iron tools now. Okay. Let me get some iron two, three, and make an iron axe. Ooh, an iron axe. Nice. Okay, awesome. All right, let's fix that thing. Um, I'm going to break this and then place down, uh, place down the log here. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I need to use something. Yeah, like that. And then put down the strip log here. There you go. Now it looks a little bit nicer. And let's continue with the walls. So I'm going to put walls here on this side, walls here on this side, and another wall here, but with two doors for this wall. So let's do these two left and right walls first. So I'm going to put planks. Oh, no, please. Ugh. Go back in. I don't want you up here. Okay. And then make some of them stripped logs. So let's do the same thing. So let's do this middle one and then strip log. And let's do this left one. Strip log. And let's do this top right one. Strip log. There you go. And let's do the same thing on this side. So planks. And oh, I ran out of planks. Oh, whatever. I could just use the logs here. And then let's do one on the left side and one in the middle. There you go. Oh, and I can actually open this up to make windows. I don't have any glass yet, so I'm going to use some oak fences. Oh, come on. Thank you. And there you go. So some windows. Okay, so now this wall is going to have two doors. So what it's going to look like is I'm going to have a wall here in the middle like that. And then on the sides, there'll be two doors. So it'll be like this. And do I have doors? Yes, I have doors. So oak door here. 
and oak door here like that that way there's two doors and the reason why i'm opening up this middle is because i'm going to have ladders that goes up that way I can give the villagers some crops. So let's also make the walls for this attic. So the walls are going to be the same. It's going to be a combination of strip logs and oak planks. Let's put some oak planks and then I'm going to put a strip log here. And let's see, I ran out of planks. So let me make some more. Okay, so block here and let's put another strip log here. There you go. And this would be open so I can give the villagers some crops. All right. I also need a trapdoor here. So let's see. Um, I don't have trapdoor and I'm also running out of wood. Do I have some torches? I can make some torches. All right. Let me light this up. So I'll put here and here. Let me also light up the front. Oh, whoops. Uh, put it here and here. Okay, let's go out and light up this side and this side. Awesome. So I'm going to need some more wood. So let's collect some oak logs. Wow, it's so much faster with a iron axe. This will save so much time. All right, so I got a stack and one log. That's enough wood. Let's continue with the walls. So I'm going to go Oh wait, where did my baby? Oh, okay, there you go. Let's do this side now. So it's going to be the same. Strip logs and oak planks. So let's put some... I'm also going to leave the middle open for a window. Let's put a strip log here and a strip log up here. And do I have enough fences? Ah, oh, I only have one fence. Okay, so I'm going to need more fences. And also I need a trap door. So let's make that. Let's make a fence first. Fence. And let's make a trap door like that all right let's go back up so i'm gonna put fence here like that as a window and a trap door right here like that there you go i also need to light up the sides too so let me put torches on these logs like that and also on the other side like this and that okay awesome and i am done with the villager breeder how does this look all i have to do is just keep on giving the villagers up there some crops and then they'll just keep on breeding hopefully i can get enough to make a large villager hall today asleep all right so now that i'm done with the villager breeder let's start with the trading hall so i'm going to put the trading hall behind the villager breeder starting here let's see if i have some blocks so i need uh, cobblestone slabs which i don't have so let's collect some cobblestone and since i have some iron i can make an iron pickaxe all right so let's make the iron pickaxe now i'm in the iron age so let's collect some cobblestone all right that's 32 cobblestone i went by really quickly because of my iron pickaxe okay so let's make some slabs i'm just gonna grab half of the stack and then there you go 36 slabs that should be enough let's start making the path towards the trading hall so it's going to look similar to the entrance of the porch where it's going to be like this so i'm going to put normal blocks and then slabs after so normal blocks first let's put it here and here and then some cobblestone blocks here like that and then some slabs down here yeah there you go so i was thinking for the trading hall i'll make it um i make the porch kind of similar to the designs that we have for my house and the villager breeder but just a little different so let's start making a small path probably three blocks wide like that and then let's make it go up again towards the porch i'm going to put oh, i need some oak planks so i'm going to put planks on the sides and then cobblestone here like that and then the start of the porch was like this where i have oak logs and then some stairs so i'm gonna put some cobblestone for the foundation and then oak logs and stairs like that all right so let's start making the trading hall i'm going to put some slabs to make a small porch and i also need some cobblestone walls let me make a crafting table so i'm gonna put it down here and let's make a cobblestone wall okay so right here and here but this time i'm not going to make this like patio thing i'm just gonna leave it like that with torches on top okay let's make the entrance towards the trading hall so i was thinking of making a similar design as the entrances that we had so it's going to be like Oh wait, whoops, I need to put one more block. So an oak log here and here. And then there's going to be a small door here in the middle. So let's start making that. I'm also going to use some strip logs as some decoration for the walls. And then I need my stairs like that. And also some logs that goes up. 
and a sideways log like that. Right, so it's similar to the designs that we've been using, but this time I'm going to make my trading hall a little bit wider. So I'm going to make it kind of like a circle shape. It curves from here and it curves that way. So let's start making the floor. Let's just use some slabs. That way we can save more blocks. Let me also make some more. Oh wait, I think I have a lot of slabs at home. So let me also grab those slabs. Let me see, do I have slabs? Uh, where's, oh yes, a lot of slabs. Okay, I think that's it. And I also forgot I need to keep on breeding my villagers. So let's keep on farming for potatoes. That way I can continue having more villagers for my trading hall. Cool, I got a stack and 27 potatoes. I think that should be enough for a while. So let me give... Oh, wait. This baby villager grew up already. Oh, wow, that was quick. All right, so I can give all of these potatoes to them. And hopefully they'll just keep on breeding for a while because I think that's a lot of potatoes. All right, so let's continue with the floor of my trading hall. So I'm gonna curve it a bit. So let's see, how, how many curves should I do? Let's see, so there's one block, two blocks, three blocks, and let's do four blocks. So four block curve, and then what's gonna happen is I'm going to put some oak logs and planks as the wall. So oak logs, that goes up like that. Let's do four blocks. Oh, let me do three first so I can make the rest of the walls. And then go up one. All right, that should be good. So a curve like that. Let's do the same thing on the other side. All right, so this is how it looked like from the front. It's a building that is a little curved and it looks kind of circular, which is pretty cool. Now let's just keep on filling in the floors. All right, so I filled in the floors. So how the insides are going to look like are I'm going to put, so let's see. I want to use strip logs for the insides. Actually before that, let's decorate the walls with some strip logs. There you go. Let's do the same thing on this side. All right, so like that. And let me also, um, I'm going to need some more torches because I don't want some mobs to spawn inside. Let me just use up all the charcoal. 28 torches, awesome. I'm gonna put some torches here. So how the insides are going to look like are I'm going to have some, oh man, I'm gonna need more oak logs. But basically I'm going to have a villager trading hall. Let me put some more planks. So I'm gonna put a villager trading hall like this right here in the middle here and it'll just keep on repeating for however long I need and same thing on the other side. But I'm going to need more strip logs because I want the walls on the left and right of the villager station to be strip logs. So let's collect some more oak logs. Good thing these trees grow really fast. It would have sucked if I had to wait a long time for them to grow. All right, one stack and two oak logs. Perfect. So let's continue making the trading hall. So I'm gonna put strip logs up like that. So three, I think three, no, four blocks would be better. Let me put another block and make them all strip logs like that. And then what's going to happen is that I'm going to put an occupation block here and then the villager will be standing on this block right here and there'll be a wall right here. Let me also put a wall here and I also need to decorate it with strip logs. That way it'll look nice on the outside. All right. So it'll look like this with the occupation block there. Let me get some of the occupation box that I already have. All right. So let's see what do I have? Oh, okay. So a lectern. I need that. I don't really need the cartography table. Blast furnace would be useful. Um, don't need the smoker or grindstone would be useful. The barrels, not that useful. Oh, a brewing stand is useful. Is that it? Is that everything that I need? I think I can also make a smithing table, right? Let me make a smithing table. Oh, Oh, and let's also make a composter. So I think for smithing table, you need two iron ingots. Let's make that a smithing table. And let's also make a composter to make a farmer. Okay, I think that should be good for now. Let's start with, hmm, what villager should I put first? Maybe a composter. I think that would be the easiest way to get some emeralds if I can get a lot of crops. So let's put the composter there. And hopefully this guy will go towards this occupation block when it's daytime. It's gonna be hard to to trap the villagers in this one space. Hmm, how should I do it? I might need to make some stairs that goes up and then I'll drop them down. Okay, so let's put a stair there. And I also want a trap door like 
this that way if it's a baby villager they won't be able to escape and one more thing so i'm gonna put a strip log here and this is how a trading hall would look like or one trading hall but i'm going to need to put the villagers in first so i'm gonna break this and then when it's daytime and this guy goes towards this occupation block i'm gonna push it into that hole so let's continue making more trading halls i'm gonna put it on both sides so i'm gonna put a trading hall on this side like that and let's see what should we put we can put let's put a lectern a lectern there awesome okay it's almost daytime so this guy will probably start moving in the meantime let's just keep on continuing the floor and more trading halls and so for the outsides, what I want to do with this oak log is I want to space it every three blocks. So there's going to be three planks and then a oak log like that. That way it'll look a little unique on the... Ooh, oh, yes, a composter, uh, not a composter, a farmer. Awesome. So uh, let me show you how it'll look like from the outside. Ooh, two more villagers. Awesome. All right. So from the outside, it'll look like this. So it'll be an oak log and then three block space between each other. That way it won't look too boring where it's just all oak planks and some strip logs. All right. So now that I have a farmer, let's try to push this guy into the hole. So that's the tricky part. Let me break this lectern. That way it doesn't get attracted to it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this composter. When I place it down, it will go to it. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm going to need to block this hole. All right, let's push it first then. So I'm going to push it first. Ugh, okay, this is kind of hard. Maybe if I put a stair there and then I'm going to lure it with the composter. Okay, okay. And then break it and then push it and then place it when it's inside. Yes. Oh my. Mm. I wish there was an easier way. Maybe if I place it on this block. All right. And then block it first. Yeah, and then go get this guy and then... Okay, I gotta do this quickly. I'm gonna place the block and then place another block. That way it won't jump up. So place it and then place... <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my... Really? <gasps> oh, it fell in. Okay, there you go. Woo! Okay, so I just need this guy to go out. Yeah, why are you stuck in the... Oh my gosh, why are you stuck? How am I gonna do this? Can this, can this guy just... Oh my gosh. Can this just... Oh, okay. I'm going to break it. All right. Let me place the composter like that. And is it not going to move? Oh my gosh. What if I place a normal block? Will you go up here? Oh my gosh. All right. How am I going to do this? Okay. Let's start over. So I'm going to go up. And then... Oh my gosh. This is so hard. Can I push you? Oh, yes. Oh, I can't place the block. Oh, there you go. And then there. Yes, I got it. OK, so I'm going to put a stair block right here. Oh, right here. And voila, there is a villager stuck inside. Awesome. I'm going to put a trap door like that. Cool. So let's see. Beat root and I don't need that beat root actually. But the good thing with this trap door is it won't let the villager escape when I reset their trades. So if I place it down, there you go. A new trade. Cool. So carrots and beetroot, which I don't really want. Actually, I don't really need beetroot anyways. So I could make a farm dedicated for beetroot just for trading. But at the same time, I don't want to use the farmland just for beetroot. So I'm going to wait for a trade that has maybe carrots and potatoes or something like carrots, potatoes or uh, bread because it'll be nice to have a food source that I could just keep on buying. No, not wheat, not potatoes. Ugh, don't know what trade I really want. Yeah, so something like this emerald for bread, that would be a good food source, but not beetroot. <gasps> Ooh, carrots and emeralds for bread. I think that's a good trade. So let's get some carrots. Good thing I got a carrot from the mob farm. Instead of growing these potatoes, let's grow some carrots. Oh, I only have one carrot. Uh, good thing I have some bone. All right, so let's grow a carrot here on this block. And let's just keep on growing some carrots. I think I need 22 for that trade. So let's get enough carrots. All right, I got 25. I think that should be enough. Let's get some emerald. <gasps> Ooh, three baby villagers. Awesome. So let's trade. That way we can lock this trade. So there you go. I got one emerald. Awesome. Let's just use that emerald for some bread. Nice. No more eating rotten flesh. I got some bread. Thank you, villager. 
Mmm, tasty. All right, let's continue making more trading halls. So I'm gonna put a lectern here, and I don't think any of the villagers are grown up yet, so I can't lure them. Let's just continue making more villager trading halls. Hmm, let's see. What else do I really need? Oh, I can put the brewing stand because I have a lot of rotten flesh. I can put that there. <gasps> oh! A lectern. Let's see, what's your trade? Oh, silk touch. Uh, I'm probably going to keep on trading for a mending book. I think that's more useful, but I don't need the lectern yet. I think it would be better for a cleric. That way I can get rotten flesh and redstone dust. So let's try to lure this guy in. Oh my gosh, it's going to be the same thing. Oh, oh, actually, can I trap this guy? <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, no. No, please, please just go in. Go in, go in. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me break that brewing stand. And yes, I can trap this guy. So I'm going to put a brewing stand here and let's put a just a normal block there. Okay, cool. I'm going to need a trap door. Okay. So trap door and let's place it on top of the brewing stand. Where's the hitbox? There you go. Okay, cool. And then let's, let's close that. That way this guy can't go in. Let's place the wooden block with a stair. Like that. Okay, cool. Now this villager is stuck inside. Let's trade for a emerald with my rotten and flesh. Oh, whoops. Oh no, full inventory. What should I do? Oh, I can just place down the lectern. And what else can I place down? Which one's more important? Smithing table, blast furnace, or grindstone? Hmm. Let's just do the smithing table first. I don't remember which villager was the smithing table, but I think these three, the blast furnace, grindstone, and smithing table are really similar. One of them is tools, one of them is weapons, and the other one is armor. All right, let me also put down a door for this trading hall like that and let me also put some more torches i could put torches on each pillar like that okay wow it looks much nicer and this snow is kind of annoying let me go to sleep to get the snow away right the snow should be going away now let's also clear the snow and can i clear the snow without hitting the villager okay yeah there you go awesome let's make more trading halls All right, so that's the- Oh, oh, wait, 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 I can trap one, I can trap one. Ah, oh, oh no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay, go in, go in, go in. And then, oh no, I just need one, I just need- Oh my gosh, these babies. <gasps> yes, 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 go in. Oh my gosh. Ah, <gasps> these babies. Anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore them then. Okay, so these are the trading halls that I have right now. So a farmer, a cleric, smithing table. I mean, what's it called? A uh, blast furnace, lectern, smithing table, and a grindstone. I think that should be enough for now. I do have some barrels, but I don't have any fish anyway, so I can't really trade. So I'm not gonna use them as a trading system. My goal is to get a lot of enchantment books with these lecterns, but the problem that I have right now is that none of the animals are spawning. No cows, so I can't have leather. I'm starting to think it might be because of my mob farm. It might be taking the mob cap, and that's probably why no other new mobs would spawn. So I might need to light up the inside sometime just to get some animals. But for now, all I could do is just keep on breeding some more villagers. So let's continue to get more crops. So let's see, do I have more bone? Yes, I do. Oh, I already had some bone meal in my inventory anyways. Let's use these bone meal. And after these potatoes, I'll switch it to carrots. All right, so let's slowly switch it to carrots. So six carrots, the rest is potatoes. Let's continue to grow. I need more bone meal. All right, this time I have, ooh, 25 carrots. Is this enough to farm the whole thing? Yes, that is enough. All right, so now we switched to carrots. That way I can trade and also get enough for braiding. All right, I also need more farm areas. So I'm going to probably use these dirt to make more farm areas. It'll be nice if I can make a semi-automatic farm. All right, so let's trade. Oh wait, no, before I trade, let's breed some more villagers. So let me give all of the potatoes. There you go. Oh, they gave it back to me. I don't need that. Okay, keep on breeding, okay? All right, and then let's trade for some emeralds. 
let's see. Okay, two emeralds. Awesome. What can I get? Um, hmm. Maybe I should go down to the mob farm and get some more. Oh, yes, they're breeding. Awesome. I want my animals to spawn, so I should probably go down to the mob farm, light it up. And then when I'm down there, I could also get some random flash so that I can trade. Let's go down. Do I have enough blocks? Yeah, I think I should have enough blocks to bridge over to the mob farm. Let's go down the mob farm and let's make a small bridge right here. Yeah, like that. And instead of going inside, I'm going to do this where I just break the ceiling and light up the insides like that. Okay, I'm going to do it for all four sides. All right, so hopefully the mobs won't spawn anymore. Let's go down and kill all of the mobs that are stuck here and also collect all the rotten flesh. Wow, that's a lot of mobs. Oh no, my inventory's full and I don't have a sword. I should have brought some iron down. I can only make a storm sword. Okay, let's clear the rest. Man, this witch is so hard to kill. Okay, there you go. Okay, so some mobs are still up there. I don't think they spawned. I think they were just up there and they never fell. So it should be fine. Oh man, I wish I cleared my inventory before coming down here. Oh wow, that's a full bow that dropped. Wow. Ooh, I'm, I need to make more chests. Oh, I had one chest in my inventory. Let's put the rest of the stuff that I don't need. Oh, I should have brought iron for some hoppers too. Oh man, I didn't come prepared. All right, let's put everything back. Oh, there's still more. Wow, man, are they still spawning or are they just the ones that never fell? Maybe that's enough. Let's put the stuff that I don't need and then pick up all the rotten flesh. Okay, I have a lot of rotten flesh. Oh, I have a full inventory. Let me put something in my second hand and pick that up okay that's all of the rotten flesh let's go back up all right i'm back up let's go back to the trading hall and trade all of these rotten flesh into emeralds so a trick that you can use for trading is that after you click on the emeralds you can place the space button and it'll put the same trade back so i could just spam and that way i could trade everything it looks like this villager will upgrade so let's see the next upgrade so gold and emeralds for lapis. The lapis would be good if I have an enchanting table, but I don't have an enchanting table and I don't know if I can get some diamonds to make one, which sucks because it would be nice to have an enchanting table. But the good thing is that if I get more cows for leather, I can make a lectern and keep on making more librarians to trade for enchantments. All right, since an hour is almost up, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next episode. Okay, bye!